Are you, well, you want me to set? Yeah. You want me to pull any of this Well, the dog's got a bunch of crabs here that he went to the, uh, the Chinese supermarket in Houston, Texas off Bel Air or, or Bissonette. There's a series of those, those uh, supermarkets. And a uh, great place. You usually have the, the live blue crab in stock. And dog is going to now show us how to prepare a crab and catch bull here. reds and black drum. Alright guys, it's simple. You see medium size. It's not, well, maybe quite, it's not big anyway. Um, crab, it's docile because it's been on the ice. It's still alive though. All right, so what we're going to do to fish this crab is we're probably going to fish half a crab. Um, so I'll show you what we're going to do here is show you how to prepare a crab for to, to shell it and to half it um, for fishing for black and red drum. All right, so it doesn't matter what order we start, um, we're just going to start pulling, twisting the legs off. All right, just twisting them and we're, we're going to give them to the, to the bird community. A lot of people might keep the legs, um, you can ball them up, you could crush it, use shrimp. Um, in pantyhose make uh, crab balls and put that out. Today that's uh, not where we're at and what we're fishing. So today uh, we've got plenty of crab and we're just going to use a uh, half shelled crab. But you'll see that I mean in the claws when you get big crabs there's a lot of meat in there so crushing them up can be an easy and, and, and you know, good resourceful bait. See how I'm pulling the sockets out but I'm, I'm leaving the sockets in. That's going to become important when we get to the hooking up section. Right, so we'll do the same on the opposite side, no difference. Just twist the legs and break them. You can leave some of these on if you wanted. Preference is just get as much away that to leave it easy for the fish to get it in its mouth. Okay. Simple. The, the crab is now de-legged for want of a better description. There's it on its top shell. Now to get its shell off is actually really simple. Um, you don't need a bait knife, you just need your hands. I wear gloves just pure out of it uh, to keep the smell, the slime off and then uh, just for when I go to cast in a minute. Simply just take it by one of the horns. I use my left hand because I'm right handed to hold the crab. My power finger is going to go in the back end here. And all we're going to do is twist it. So I'm going to use my thumb, my forefinger under here to hold it firm and actually pull down. And on the same hand I'll use my thumb and my forefinger on the top to twist it off. Right. So here we go, my gloves are shielding it a bit, but you should see what happens. The crab will open right up, starting from about here. Okay. So there's a the crack, you can see where the force and pulsion on the horn is cracked to open. Okay, and the, the whole lid will just pop right off in one piece, so you don't need to worry about anything. You're getting left with the crab meat in place. Top shell we're now finished with. We can discard that and feed it to the birds. And now we've got a whole crab. If you wanted for a small crab, such as this one, there's no problems, we, we could easily fish this whole section. And uh, it's no different hooking up. For hooking up, we're going to put through uh, one of its legs and out through one of the front legs. Back leg to front leg or front leg to back leg. I'll show you how we cut it in half and it's simply just take a bait knife. We're going to put it on the cutting board here. Take the bait knife and just simply crush down on it. And as long as a fresh crab, it will hold together, no problems. Okay. And now we have half a crab. Alright, so the crab's in half. Simple, that's a beautiful piece of bait. May look small to some, but for going in a big black drum's mouth, that, that loves it. That's a good, good solid cold weather bait. Okay, so we'll go to the rig. Again, we've got a 15 knot circle hook here. Slightly gapped, you'll notice a, if you were to see a standard one, it'd be closed in by about another quarter inch. A um, little twist to it as well. You simply put it in the vise, use a ring spanner and just twist it just a little bit. Okay, so into the back, the socket, get your hook twisted around so it's not going through the front shell. Okay, and then we just need to feed it until we fit. And then, see there, that's it coming up the back of the socket. I don't like that because that means it's not insecure. So I'll feed it back out and I'll twist the hook, the front edge of the hook until I get it to come through the middle of the socket which might not be complying here there we go all right so now that is a solid attached piece of crab I mean that will fish until it's eaten off you're, you're not going to get washed off that's only going to go the only reason you're going to lose that bait is because bait fish are going to take it or the black drum or the red drum is going to eat it up and we're going to catch a nice fish